What is up, everyone? Velocity here, and we're back. We're back with Danganronpa. I'm getting right into this, bro. Last time, we just got to the third island. Um, this... I, I don't know how to feel about this island. I don't... This, this music... I know it's not supposed to be unsettling, but it really is. It really is. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like... Satsuki Land? Wait, Satsuki Land? No, 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 no. Hold on. Why does every island have a reference to the first game? Satsuki Land? I decided to ignore him. <laughs> I haven't even said anything yet. <laughs> Man, they really just... They, they hate Mikado. Oh, I should have read that. I'm sorry. We welcome you to Satsuki Land. You're already in the main plaza. The signpost had that message in the map and instructions of the entire island theme apart. According to the map, upon entering the main plaza, there is a three-way junction in each path. Yeah, Monocro explained this. No, I must. This is a time to enjoy, but I can't help but get excited when I've ever been in a place like this. The theme park is huge, so I shouldn't lose focus and investigate. Wow! That is actually so cool. Sorry, bye. Are you researching the island? <laughs> Why do we talk to this guy? I don't really think you should su you suit the amusement park. It would help if you investigated, though. If you come to complain, get lost. Wow. Amazing dialogue. <laughs> Why? He oh, my God, dude. Samabai is just... He just hates everyone and everything. Ira, Sora, did you find anything? No, nothing much. Ira, you look super happy, by the way. Ah, oh, I do? Well, I can't help it. It's a theme park. A theme park! When Monocro said theme park, I honestly wasn't expecting that much. But this is so awesome. It's like... I, I have no... It's like Disneyland! <laughs> it's like Disneyland! It was my dream to, to go there. Ira, is this your first time visiting a theme park? I mean, this is a first time for me as well with the whole amnesia stuff. Yep, but I always search them on the internet through the SNS. I'm sorry to ask this, but wasn't your family, like, super rich? It surprised me that this is your first time visiting a theme park. Oh, about that. I do have my reasons, yeah. Well, I doubt that matters, but I'm as surprised as you are. Just walking through the streets is enough to make my heart pound. Yeah, another thing, like, every character has this horrible backstory. Like, I... I'm not sure what hers is, but... She looks like she was bullied or abused in some way. That that's that's just my guess. I know, I know. To top it off, we'll be staying here for a while, right? It's free and we can play here all day. Ah, it just makes me want to live here forever. No, you don't. You mustn't. We need to escape here, right? The fact that the void exists means someone will get killed if we don't do anything about it. You're right. I got too excited. I'm sorry. Hey, it's good. But you could ride the attractions while investigating when you get bored. So thinking positively and speaking, thinking positively speaking, this is definitely a plus. Oh gosh, why are you here? Oh, perfect timing. One of you. I don't care who. Just give me your handbook for a sec. Sayobai. <laughs> Sayobai, for you to speak to us. This is a first. What's gotten into you? Enough about that and just give me the thing. I need to test something. What are you talking about? No. What do you offer in return? It's not like you cooperated with us throughout this entire time. He's about to get mad. Then you. Give me yours. Me? But why? Arha, at times like this, you need to act strong, or they'll think you're a pushover. Oh, man. Y you're right. Why would I give you my handbook? You haven't even thanked me for the last time when I woke you up. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Give it to me now, unless you want your head ripped off. Here it is. Oh my god. Why is he bullying her? Ira, don't just hand it to him. Saiba, you really are a scumbag. Give Ira her handbook back. Wait, are you ignoring me? Stop right there. <laughs> Monokra, we have a thief right here. Monok oh my god. She is so obnoxious. I've been called. Monokra, Saiba, Saiba here just stole Ira's handbook. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What? Sayobai, thieving is not allowed in a school environment. Give it back right this moment. For God's sake, why can't these people just shut up for once? You know, I'm kind of with them. They're, they're snitching, but he is being a dick. So, like, 
I haven't stolen it. I just borrowed it. I'm gonna return it, okay? I cannot allow that if Ira herself did not give consent. The loss of a handbook is directly r related to the school rules. If you take it as of now, Ira could get punished for violating the rules. But no, that's not fair. I know that you might not care one bit if she dies or not, but the trial could get a bit messy. You'll be in censor of such a complicated and convoluted murder case. Yeah. And would that be beneficial for a guy who hates tiresome stuff like that? Just give me five minutes. Five minutes and I'll give it back to you. And if I don't, you can punish you can punish me for violating the rules. Huh? Well, that's a bit... Yoroshi. Hmm. If you're going that far, then it seems like you don't have any ulterior motives. Alright, I approve of you borrowing Araha's handbook. We three will wait here, and you must return within five minutes to return Araha her handbook. Man, this is annoying. Hey, Bubblehead, just turn your handbook on. But, can- I mean, can I ask what exactly what you're trying to do? None of your business. Just stay here and wait. What is up with this guy, man? Oh my god! That was so scary, Sora. I don't know, we should run away for now. If we stay away from Sayobai for five minutes, it'll be the end of him! Oh my, that is so mean! What are you saying? That I cannot allow. This is an official deal between Sayobai and Iroha. And according to its details, Iroha is also obliged to wait for Sayobai. I was just- No, you weren't. You were not joking. You were not joking, Sora. I s <laughs> I've known Sora long enough at this point to know whether she's joking or not. What's with the serious reply? And Monocur, why are you still here? Leave, you little creep. We'll take care of the handbook. Mm -hmm. What? What did you say? After I came all the way here to help you, what's with that attitude? That's it. That's the last... <laughs> oh, my. I, you, I'm not even going to try to interpret what she's saying. Y'all y'all can do that. I, I'm not saying that. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel bad. Yeah, he's gone. Sometimes, just, sometimes you're even scarier than Sayobai. What comes around goes around. I only play nice when they do. Oh, he's back. Here. Oh, thank you. You arrived quite earlier than I thought, Sayobai. <laughs> no comment, and he just left. Well, it's rare that he'd even speak to us in the first place. wonder what he actually did. My handbook. I'm getting curious. Well, as seen people, we cannot... We as seen people cannot understand some people like Sayobai. He probably got a bit mad. He got probably got bit by a mad dog once or something. I mean, he works with the black market in the underworld. He's a broker. Like, he, like, it's hard to understand people like that, especially if you come from a background like Iraha. I don't know what Sora's like, so I, I can't really say much about her. Ah, Sora. Yuriko, I didn't expect to see you in here. So, this is the ghost house? It said so in the entrance. Well, I myself just entered here. Um, if it's okay with you, would you like to explore here together? Okay, I need to start hanging out with her, dude. Because, like, she she has massive tsundere vibes, bro. Like, I, I, I gotta start hanging out with her. I'm not scared in the slightest, but... Yuriko... You don't have to act like a tsundere. When you what did I just say? Oh my god! What did I just, bro? Nah, I I got it. I just got that intuition. Just tell me you're scared if you are. No, I said I'm not. I just wanted to be with you. <laughs> I mean, it's too boring to be alone. And all right, let's go inside. If you feel scared, I guess I'll allow you to hug me. Stop teasing me. <laughs> I gotta hang out with her. I gotta hang out with her next. I decided to explore the insides of the house with Yurika. And they didn't find shit. Oh, what? I think now I get the gist of this place. Though not having an, an event staff, and c consequently lacking any ghosts in a haunted house is a bummer. Event staff? You know, like people who'd work at the theme park. People inside mascot suits, or part-timers, as ghost actors. But since we're the only ones on this island, it there's virtually no one who can act as those roles. You seem to know a lot about these. Well, I do spend a lot of time searching about random trivia. If we escape here and, be, and become adults, it's not like I could hold on to a job like a hostess. So I've been searching a lot about what I could do in the future. Huh, studying. Although I don't have any memories, I don't think I would have been the type to like studying. I guess I'd, I'd have been on the lesser side when it comes to schoolwork. Wait, sorry, I think there's someone over there. 
Wow. Nike? What is he doing here? All flustered. Hey, Nike. <laughs> oh, did we scare you, Nike? <laughs> You're pathetic. What is the deal with you? Didn't I tell you to stop bothering me and I won't bother you? Alrighty, we'll leave Nike alone. After all, Hoda Reporter is so brave. <laughs> we can be by your side if that's okay with you. D yep. <laughs> Huh? Where are you going? Are you sure you won't be all scared alone? Let's stop here, Erko. I'm starting to feel bad for him. Feel bad for him? That guy's been getting on my nerves, and it feels so sweet to get back at him like this. Ah, oh, what fun. My stomach hurts from laughing too much, Sora. I'm gonna head to the bathroom. Can you investigate the inside of the house in the meantime? Here it goes. So you were scared after all. To escape from this place is using such an excuse. Don't worry, I'll thoroughly investigate the insides for your sake. What? No, I'm not scared. I'm just in a hurry, that's all. <laughs> we kept at it back and forth until she left and I investigated alone. Oh, here he is. Oh, hey, Sora. Were you investigating? Yep. Teria, did you find anything? Oh, well, no. Masterminds of these types of events left to hide their clues in the deepest spot. I guess it was like that in the killing game you were in. I think so, but it's much worse this time around. Bro, why is he in another killing game? Let this man live. In the previous one, we were able to find some clues, but there's nothing here. You only hurt yourself if you try to rush things. Let's calm down and have hope. You're right. You're pretty grown up, Sora. Oh, Sora, do you remember? You do remember Monocro telling us that we need to check in our handbooks when entering the gates, don't you? So that had me thinking. What happens if two people entered together with the, the use of only one handbook? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You mean if another person goes through the gate before it closes? No, you mustn't. I can't allow that. Oh, shit. He is always listening. That scared me. What ab about what Terry has just said? All the gates have a sensor so that two people cannot enter at the same time. Even if they somehow bypass the sensor, they would be punished for not entering the handbooks. Well, there's your answer, Terry. Additionally, once you open the gates with your handbooks, you must go through it, or else the gate records get muddled up. If you open the gate and not pass through it, you'll also be punished. What is this island? We get it, now just leave. After all that explaining I did for the sake of you. Damn. Damn it, I said I couldn't stand Mikado, but I hate that bird just as much. He reminds me of that thing. That thing? Huh? What was it again? Monokuma. I can't seem to remember it. It was He was just a disgusting creature. No, a robot? Anyways, there was something like that. I guess you're still suffering from the memory loss just as much as me. I guess we're in the same boat. Well, we first need to escape this island together. So, let's put our focus on that. Oh, the twins. Bro, they're gonna die, I swear. <laughs> I, I feel bad saying that. Like, how's the investigation going? Hello. Well, nothing much. I see that you two are investigating here. Are you playing darts or something? You see, the thing is, well, look at the poster over there. Hmm? You want a prize? It says that they're giving out crows as a prize. Yep, remember what Monocro said? That when we escape here, the crow card can be exchanged to a yen. Exchanged to yen, a one-to-one -one ratio. It's not like we're short on money, but it wouldn't hurt to profit out of this, right? I doubt that the casino is the best place to make a profit out of. I know, that's exactly why Kanade is throwing darts. What does that have to do with darts? Lo and behold, Kanade here is actually the semi-ultimate thrower. Darts are ch child's play to her. Huh? Never knew she had such a talent. Kanade's amazing. One time she even scored a goal from the school rooftop. Onto the sports guard basketball rim. What? Wow, that's... Kanade is actually good at almost everything. When we were young, we used to win... Any prizes, any prize games we tried, right? Yeah, I guess so. I must say, it's quite unusual for you to compliment Kanade and not yourself. Huh? Oh, you're right. Of course, I'm far superior and everything. Oh my god, shut up. But I guess I can let Kanade have this one. Because I know if someone can do this, it's Kanade, right? You believe in sis, don't you? Yeah. It's nice to hand out like this, but don't forget to investigate, you two. 
I know, I know. Just one more try. I'll see I'll see you later during our report session. Session, Sora. Jesus, dude. I need to drink some water. <laughs> I cannot speak. Why is Setsuka at the pool? Setsuka, I see you were investigating the pool. Huh? Setsuka? Oh, Sora, when did you get here? Just now, is there something worrying you? Well, I guess we're all worried about being stuck here. Big Sis doesn't worry about such a thing, hon. It's just that you looked a bit tired since Kokoro's case. And you've been spacing out a lot recently. Spacing out? Me? Must be your imagination. Big Sis is always on t at the top of her game, you know? Well, I guess after four deaths, I admit there are a lot of things going through my mind. But I can't let that make me and you feel down and hopeless. You need to think about how we can all survive through this. And oh, this is getting too gloomy for my taste. Sora, how dare you ruin the mood like that? I mean, you were the one who made such a worried face in the first place. Uh -huh. Are you talking back to me? Is that what you can do now? I guess bad kids like you should get the pool time punishment. Huh? Come on, Sora. It's a swimming pool. We obviously need to play in the water for a bit, right? Wait, I'm not quite in the mood for swimming. There you go, backing off again. You didn't even play it on the beach with us on the first day. So now's your chance. Well, I had my reasons, but I'm worried that naively being in a swimsuit would be dangerous, considering the voids, you know? So that's what you're worried about. Wait just a moment, I'll be right back. Where is she off to now? Maybe I should just leave. No! I brought them. What is this? He told me that this was urgent. Why are we at the swimming pool? Oh my god! Setsuka! I was caught just standing there. The more the merrier, right? And you aren't gonna worry about a thing when Terry is here. Uh, it's actually because of my scars. They look awful. Your scars? Ah, oh, Setsuka, you know. The one Saobai made? Ah, oh, you're right. Come to think of it. Yeah, he stabbed her. What are you guys talking about? And Sora, I'll pick a pretty one for you that covers your stomach. So are we seriously going to swim? <laughs> of course! Erika, you should come over here as well. And I expect that you don't need help getting changed, do you? To okay, stop, stop, stop. I didn't say I wanted to take part in the... <laughs> oh, this is about to be really cute. Under Setsuka's demand, we ended up... Aw, dude. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> Look at Yuriko, she's so embarrassed. Bro, Teria does not want to be there. Look at his face. Again, with all the forceful events, would you stop dragging me in? Why? You ran here as soon as I told you Sora was here. I thought you were happy just to be with Sora. Oh, wait. Don't go around saying weird stuff like that. And both of you didn't par didn't participate last time at the beach. Sora, how does swimming how does the swimming suit feel? It's fine. It covers up the scars nicely. But was the scar that bad? You even wanted to be alone while changing. I understand that you don't want to show them, but we don't really mind them. No, Setsuka. Even if we're fine, Sora might be insecure about them. Besides, Terry is here as well. Ooh, such a sweet comment coming from Sora's number one fan. Honestly, I'm getting a bit jealous. Oh my god. She's such a tease. Hey, are you trying to start a fight? <laughs> Um, can I leave now? Oh my gosh. Why? You already changed into a swimsuit. Why not have some fun? Well, I'm the only guy here and I'm not used to these kind of situations. Hey, that's fair. I'd be a bit uncomfortable too. I don't know where my eyes are. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Oh, so you're looking at us that way. We're only just... To stop! Stop! No! Stop it! Stop! No! Stop slandering Teria! Enough about that to change your swimsuit into something else. The one you're wearing now is painful to watch! Why is he in a Speedo, though? Wait, what's so wrong with- You're in a Speedo! What are you doing? The three of us spent time playing in the water. That was fun. What about you, Sora? I guess doing stuff like this from time to time isn't so bad. Now, I have seen every one of you girls in a swimsuit. Sora and Yuriko wasn't there in our time at the beach. Well, technically, Emma and Coco didn't go in the water as well, I guess. Aw, oh, man. This is getting too gloomy again. I'll go investigate the rest of the pool. I'll be seeing you later then, Sora. I didn't know Setsuko was capable of making such a face. 
I don't think she was that bad after Yuri had died. Even for Setsuka, who's always energetic, I guess four murders are too much to handle. Yeah, bro. bro uh, okay, let's be real. If you were in a killing game, bro, you're meant, like, you would lose sanity very fast. Seeing a dead person affects you more than you think it would. Like, that's something that I feel like these games do not do very well. When someone dies, they just start investigating like nothing's wrong. And it's like, like, that. that's not realistic. I understand these games aren't realistic, but... Dude, like, that would fuck up someone more than you think. That It's not it's not just water under the bridge seeing a dead body. That is traumatic shit. Okay, let me get back to this. I hope we have some good progress with the investigation. Nah, bro, you already know. Like, with these games, when they quote-unquote investigate, no one finds shit, ever. It's always, it's always dry. Ah, Sora, so you're investigating here, too. Yuki, funny running into you here. This is where the scary attractions are located. Are these rides your type? Mm -hmm. but no, not really. Being scared of heights, I'm not good at these rides. I was dragged here by Big Bro. Moreover, did you find anything? We're talking about clues to escaping the killing game. None. Take a look at this. It's not really a clue, but still. What is it? I'll go inside the pirate ship. Sorry, you stay here and look at the display screen next to the gate. Sora, touch the history tab on the screen. History. Oh, wow. Wait, someone else went in? Well, some letters showed up. Yuki, what are these? No, I'm not entirely sure. I assume them to be the boarding history. Boarding history? It's 847 now, right? A new log was just written with this time mark because I went through the gate. Look closely as I go out again. Check the display screen now. Yeah. An out record appeared as soon as you came out. You're right, this is definitely the boarding history. Yeah, I assume the log is created once the student handbook handbooks are verified as IDs. What's with the log that happened over 20 minutes ago? Oh, that's probably Big Bro. We were the only ones here at Block B until you came over. I see. That would mean that... That code is Shinji's ID. Well, this one is yours. Wait, no, that's not it. Wait a sec. I'll go past the, ga the gates one more time. I'll go past the gates one more time. Check the records again. What is happening? What? The ID changed, yet it was the same person that went through the gate. See, I found this just a while ago, but the IDs seem to be created at random every time you ride an attraction. So that means while we can find out that someone rode an attraction at one time, we won't know who that someone was. It's to make murders more confusing. Yep, I wonder why they implemented such an inconvenient system. This info is definitely something to keep in mind, yeah. Murder occurs and the criminal happens to ride an attraction. We can use it to prove our alibis during the timestamps. Though no murders occurring at all is the best situation we can hope for. It's not gonna happen, bro. I chatted with Yuki a bit more and parted ways to investigate. Alright, we gotta find Shinji. Oh, he's right here! Wow! <laughs> Sora, hard work as always? How's the investigation going, Shinji? Well, nothing worthwhile as always, but I'm going to not give up and do my... What did you say? I can't... Under Why is he like this, bro? Shinji, come on! By the way, you look like the type to... Like these kind of thrill rides. You want to go try one? No, 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 no. Not at all. I'm, I'm really not good at these. Please don't ask me to ride it with you. Uh-huh. Talk about not living up to... <laughs> one's body size. Oh, I might have been all high and mighty back in the monocruise. Now, this is the first time in forever since I've been to an amusement park. If I had to ride one, I guess I could ride the merry-go-round? Huh, Shinji riding a merry-go-round? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it that weird? No, no, not at all. Once you investigate thoroughly enough, we could ride the merry-go-round together as a reward. How does that sound, Shinji? Is it just me, or are you treating me like a kid when I'm older than you? Ugh. <laughs> Sora, what are you doing in the storage room? Why did you suddenly hit me? It's already dark and cramped in here enough, not to mention all the creepy dolls. I don't know would have done the same if you suddenly came up from behind them and scare them. Still, I'm the teacher. Violence is against the rules, so please abstain from using them. So, what is up with these dolls? Nothing much. They're just from the parade that we hold regularly. A parade? Yes, it's our Saltsuki Land's Pride attraction. 
When the day comes, I'll be sure to announce it to you all, so please look forward to them. Sorry, not interested, but what does the storage room have to do with the parade? Hmm, how can I explain this? This oh my god, bro. Monocro and his expl explanations, like... This is awkward. What are you doing? Huh? I have no interest in seeing you, so if you said everything you have to say, get out now. I can feel my heart going cold by that chilling comment. I don't think that info is useful, but it wouldn't hurt to tell everyone. Wait, is this what I had to do? Oh, Sora, perhaps that doll is of interest to you? No, not much. And who told you that you could speak to me? <laughs> Sora is a savage. That is our adorable Sachi. She is our dear mascot for Satsuki Land. She's like the Mickey Mouse of this park. Wow, what unnecessary information. That kind of looks like a... Wow. I've never been to this place before, but there are some backstories to Arasachi. You see, her inspiration came from someone called... I decided to ignore him. Wow. After finishing the investigation, we gathered for lunch. Oh, I had to go to the monorail. I had no idea. <clears throat> I had to use the monorail. I didn't think that's what I had to do. Wow, there are so... There's no one left. Now, is everyone here? Why is everyone so slow? Let's start our report meeting. Come on, brighten up. The reason we didn't start is because you twins arrived late in the first place. Sorry, but Kanade dragged me around so much from place to place. If only she had paid a little more attention to the time. Sorry, sis. That's fine. We all forgive you for- Why are you here? Why is that thing not leaving? <laughs> Sora. Yo, Mikado, scram. But I refuse. Whoa, he's being aggressive for once. You're always bullying me. I've worked hard in my own way to investigate. I repeat, I have valuable information to share. Really? So you were searching for clues on how to escape the island you put us on. Goodness, no. It's just that I know a bit more about the new island. And I'm just willing to share that information. This island has a lot of complicated rules. It wouldn't hurt to hear my insights, would it? Well, that settles it then. Mikado can join us too. Is it really alright for you to join? We have no choice. It'll be our loss if we waste the time arguing. He's insane anyway, so there's no point in trying to reason with him. Feels weird that you responded so reasonably and cool-headed. Were you always like this? How rude, Yuki. People grow up, you know. Sure. You really did change, Shibiki. A lot. You're really dependable now, and yeah, it's such a little amount of time. Unlike your appearance? Bro, don't unintentionally roast her. Did you have to add that last part? <laughs> I see, everyone's growing up in their own way. Bro, come on, Yuki. Okay, let's start, Yuki. Why don't you give it... Why, why don't you first give it a go? But bro, there are still people who haven't arrived yet. Like who? Oh, Teria and Nike. Just consider Nike Saibai version 2. It seems like our friendship with him has now ended. Oh, you're right. Teria's not here. I guess we forgot about him while we were dealing with Mikado. Had anybody seen him? I recall seeing him on the way here. Alright, ignoring Mikado. I don't think Teria was ever late for our meetings. Maybe something happened to him. I hope not. No, don't say that. A lot of time has already passed, so let's start. We can't wait forever. Alright, now then. Yuki. Um, well, I walked around the whole park, but I didn't find anything special other than the fact that the park is huge. Although, it's not related to our escape. There is something I found about the boarding history of the attractions. Boarding history? Yeah, I remember that each attraction had a gate and a time you go in or out. You need to enter your handbooks. You can view the boarding history from the display screen next to the gate. Once you enter, an ID is created, and the end-out records get saved along with the timestamp you entered. Oh, interesting. The ID is created randomly each time you go in and out, meaning it's not always constant. I see, so while you know whether someone used an attraction, you still cannot know who that is. There's another detail to the gates. Once you registered your handbook at the gate, you must not back down and enter. If two people enter at the same time while only entering one handbook, that will also be punished accordingly. Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> you already knew that? My sincere apologies. Wait, let's go over all the things we know about the gates. 
1. You need to use your active handbooks to enter and leave any attractions through the gates. Upon using the handbooks to pass through the gates, your records will get saved as timestamps, along with a random generated ID that cannot be used to distinguish whoever entered the gate. 3. The act of not using the handbooks and going over the gates will be punished. If you don't enter after opening the gates, or if two people enter after registering only one handbook, you'll also be punished. There's one more detail. If a murder occurs, all the functions of the gates will be deactivated. Kanadi, that wasn't something necessary to say. But sis, you don't know whenever a void might strike, so you should be at caution always. She definitely has a point. The whole point of going over the gate rules is because if we violate them, our lives will be in danger. Better safe than sorry. Taking caution for our lives is never a bad thing. Is that so? I thought it would make the situation too dark. So, is everyone clear with how the gates work? It's not overly complicated. Use your handbooks when passing through a gate. If you remember this core rule, then everything will be fine. Well, let's move on. I wandered around the park with Yuki. And I noticed that each department had its own gimmick. Oh, I know. A had gentle ones. Throw ones for B, and C had sports facilities, right? So there's a place for everyone, no matter what their taste is. Ira, we're not here to play, you know. Well, I guess I'm a fan of the theme parks as well. I investigated mainly Department A. There were stuff like the Mirror Mansion, the Haunted House, and the Merry-Go-Round. Definitely feels gentle. Oh, he's here. Huh? What's this? Nikkei? What's up, Nikkei? I thought you weren't gonna bother us. What are you guys talking about? I'm just here for lunch. Why are you guys here? Oh, I see. What was it again? Report sessions? So you're still doing that? Pfft. There's nothing to cheer about. It'll be beneficial for you if we had- if you found- if we've had any info about escaping. What do you mean, beneficial? From the looks of it, you've hit a dead end. There are three voids out there. You think they'd let you find clues for free? Get real. I'll investigate on my own, much more efficiently, mind you. Yo, Mikado, I'll be taking my food to my room. Please, help yourself. Today's lunch is chicken and ramen. Oh, that sounds good. So, it wouldn't matter if you take them out anyways. Honestly, it's hilarious to see him boss us around after being scared out of his wits at the haunted house. <laughs> scared? We ran into him there, and when we called him, he started to cry out for help. Hey, Nike, we get to the, we get the point, so while we continue our meeting with the voids, will you please leave right now? Wow. Wow. Yuriko, that was so cool. I honestly was holding back a punch to his face. I need to listen to a single thing he says. I honestly don't get why he's acting like that in the first place. I mean, he was always a bit cranky, but he wasn't this opposing before, right? Even considering the voids, he's being a bit too... I agree. It'll be best if he changed his mind and joins us. Him? Honestly, no thank you. Now, now, he must have had his thoughts. We should just focus on what to do. Anyways, where was I? The haunted house? It was huge inside. It looked like some sort of Dracula's castle with the creepy doors and all. I think it's based on some idea that if you revive the devil, you, it, if... I think it's based on some idea that you revive the devil to grant your deepest wishes. No other clues? Any escape routes? Well, to be honest, it's a bit more... It's a bit more hassle to investigate this island compared to the others. So much time is spent on just understanding the basic interior of the attractions and the gate rules. I went to the sea department and it felt more like a sports facility than a theme park. So it was relatively easier to investigate. A swimming pool, a casino, a golfing course, stuff like those. Setsuka, thank you for the lovely time we spent swimming. Well, yeah? hmm? Nah, I'm just thankful that you went along with my forceful events. Huh? Swimming? You went swimming? Why didn't you call me over? <laughs> me too, I love swimming. Bro, you guys were, like, across the island. What are you talking I'm not trying to run all the way over there. Sorry, girls. We can go another time. Yo, Yuki. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't it feel like we don't get many chances to talk with so many girls? What? Well, no. Not really. I'm pretty sure that's just you, big bro. Wow. This is finally the time where we boys unite as one. What are you talking about? Screw you. How dare you try to group us up, <laughs> group us up as we. 
Ah, oh, that reminds me. Did you all visit the casino? The one in C Block? It's like the Mono Cruise game room, but there are a lot of prizes at stake. So why don't you all go there for once? Prizes like what? Well, there's a lot of them. But for once, you can get a lot of crows. Yay! Take a look at this. Ta-da. How did you earn so much? Our little Kanade renowned her dart skills. Every shot for a bullseye. 360 no scope? Oh my. It earned us a lot of points. Um, is it just me or is everyone talking about how much they enjoyed themselves? Maybe we should approach this more seriously. I didn't just play around. I, I investigated too, you know. Well, we didn't look over all of Block C, but there weren't many clues. So in the end, all three sections didn't have any clues at all. Dude, it's going to keep happening. Ah, this may not be a clue, but I have some info to share. There's a, there a doll storage room in both Block A and C, and these dolls are going to be used at a parade. A parade? I heard that the dolls will sing and dance as programmed. The dolls from Block A will march to Block C, and vice versa. As programmed? Aren't the, those dolls the same ones as the ones out on the street? I thought they were just suits with zippers. I don't know for sure, but Monocro said something about high tech or something. I need to think deeply about that. It's just what the bird says. It's programmed to be like that. What? What is he talking about? Ignore him. Well, that aside... Is that all from the theme park? Oh, there's one more. The monorail. You're right. The thing that circulates each department, right? I haven't rode one yet, but did anyone try it? I rode it once. It's nothing special. As Monocro said, it just takes about five minutes to move between blocks. But to be precise, the actual travel time is only one to two minutes. But the monorail waits for its department for about three minutes. So by five minutes, it specifically means that the time it takes to take off from one station to the time it takes off in the next one. Yes, and the two trains indeed take off at the same time in Department B as always. I guess you could say the two trains are always in Block B for one hour during maintenance. If you want to ride the monorail, it's best that you head for Department B. You wouldn't want to head to the other block and have to miss and miss the train and wait for 20 minutes, would you? Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a bad time. I don't get all that complicated stuff, but it's all right. We just walk, right? Yuki and I will always walk for our health anyway, so no worries on that. Wait, me too? <laughs> he does not want to walk. The only place left for me for left is the main plaza, but there wasn't much there other than a small vendor in the maps. I think now I got the gist of the structure of, uh, what was the name of this park again? Satsuki Land. And our mascot, Sachin. Please remember. And I do have to say this just in case you all always hurry over to the park, but there is a convenience store in this island as well, the S Mart. Something special, but it's as, fru it's as fruitful as the ones before for your convenience. Hmm, there wasn't much in the port as well. As expected, there wasn't much to gain on the first day, yeah. Everyone, you mustn't give up. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> let's have hope. Yeah, let's not... Oh, I can't believe I almost agreed with him. Shut up, Mikado. Stop messing with us. I was just imagining if this was the character I'd been. If I hadn't been spoiled to you all that I was the mastermind. My, that would have been fun in its own way. Please... Okay, not saying that. Teria Teria, where were you all this time? Yeah, we just finished our report session And why are you so out of breath? I remembered What? I regained my memories Take a look at this photo Oh my god Sarugo, Sarugi, Kisaragi, that, there's Baby Teria, Ray, Satsuki, oh my god. The photo that Teria slammed onto the table was a group photo. The photo was a bit ripped apart and the people in, yeah, what? Where is, where, where is Yuki and Akane? What is this photo? Who are these people? Those are his classmates. This is the group of the class of 79 of Hope's Peak. In other words, these people are my classmates. Classmates? 
So these people are upperclassmen? Wait, Terria, didn't you say that they went through a killing game just like us? And only they- and only three including you had survived? Oh, my head. Part of my memory returned with this photo. These are my friends. This photo was taken a few months after our entrance ceremony. So it's a photo from a long time ago. You can see me and you can also see Ray there. Yeah, as Terria said, there were two students that looked to be like Terria and Ray. You're kidding me. This cutie is Terria? You look completely different. <laughs> That's not the point. As Kanade said, we were, we were forced to play the killing game, just like you. Only three of us survived. Rei Makaru, Kinjo Surugi, and me, Terria Otori. Everyone else died. And then we, the surviving three, created the Kisaragi Foundation. Everyone died? All these other people? Terria, where did you find this photo? I don't know. As I was investigating the park, this photo fell down like a feather from the sky. And as soon as I saw this photo, I felt some shockwave. And my memories about my classmates returned to me. And then, whoa! While Terrio was still talking, Mikado, who was silent up to now, suddenly took the photo away. What are you doing, Mikado? Give us that photo right now! Bro. Bro. Y'all. Goosebumps. Chills. He looks like he's about to kill someone. What the fuck? So it's her again. Quite the cockroach, that woman. I must hurry. What the fuck? Hey, what's up with him? The photo burnt away? It's alright, the important thing is that Terria regained his memory. Right, Terria knew something about his situation, right? He had just lost his memory. So now we may, able to, we, we may be able to escape this island. Terria, if there's something you remember, could you tell us? Oh my god. Terria? The class of 79 was the last of what's known of Hope's Peak before it closed. Then who the hell are you guys? What? It closed? What do you mean by- What? Terry, are you okay? No, not this again. It's too late, he lost consciousness. Oh, come on, right when I thought we were on to something. Everyone, we should get Terry somewhere first. Get him to his room, yeah. Yuki, help me move him. Yuki, what are you doing? Stop daydreaming and get on your feet. Huh? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm on it. After that, Shinji, Yuki, and Setsuka moved Teria to his room. That certainly was something. Teria, the photo, and Mikado. Why are you fidgeting like that, Kanade? Well, what Teria said had me concerned. Maybe we students of Hope's Peak were abducted by a criminal syndicate named Void. Maybe it's not as simple as that. We don't have to think about this that deeply. Terrio will tell us once he wakes up. You're right. Everyone, there's nothing to do if we just wait around here, right? We finished our meal in the report session. Yeah, we should be leaving. Let's do whatever we should while waiting for Terrio to wake up. Dude. Terrio suddenly regained his memory like that, then lost consciousness. Mikado snapping as soon as he saw the photo from Terrio. I felt that our killing school trip of doing nothing but getting played along by Void's hands has slowly but surely started to make an unexpected turn. Bro. That Mikado sprite? Oh my god. Like, bro, I'm not even hype right now. This song is playing. This is one of my favorite songs to this game, but bro, that sprite is like in my head. That was scary. What was that? Terrio's memory seems to have returned. Our situation, our luck, little by little, is changing. Not sure when Terrio will wake up or what what I should do for now. Oh my god, dude. There she is. There's Squishy. So many things to draw in the park, but they're also complex. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk with me? Well, that's okay with you. 
course it is. I spent time chatting about paintings with Ira. Alright, alright. Let's give her something. Uh, I don't think she would like coffee. What do I give her? I feel like she would like this. Oh, what's this? A gift? Yeah, I told you! I told you! Bro, I don't miss with these. I told you. I told you. I told you. I can't miss- Are you- I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Terry is still not here. Good morning, everyone. Sir, good morning. Sleep well? Like a log. <laughs> I wish I could relate. Is it me or did everyone become friendlier lately? Well, it's already been a month since we'd been kidnapped. It's natural we'd get close with having to live together this long. I wish I could get friendlier with... Well, then there's people like Shinji and Nike, so we're all different, I guess. They might just need time to get used to us. Why? What? There, There's something wrong with Kanade, dude. Like, I did not forget what happened in the last trial. That, that That's not water under the bridge. I'm on to her. There, there's something wrong with her. They might just need time to get used to this. This is, this is a killing game, after all. Humans are known to adapt, right? But aren't we being too relaxed? No, we'll be fine. It's better than being down all the time. Sora, come join us for breakfast. Today's menu is rice topped with yaki niku? What is yaki niku? Wait, hold on. Let me search that up. Bro, that looks good. That looks good. I'll put a picture on the screen, bro. That is something I'd love to cook. That looks good. My, that sounds delicious. Hibiki, this isn't yaki nuki. It's bulgogi. They might be similar, but they're totally different. That doesn't matter, right? As long as it tastes good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> By the way, has Tyria not woken up yet? Yeah, but once he does, he'll probably come here for breakfast. No, no, don't be hasty. We have plenty of time on our hands. Yeah, there he is. Speak of the devil. Hi, good morning. We've been waiting for you, mister. You know about what you said yesterday. Wait, Hibiki, let's ask about his condition first. Yeah, for real, man. Tyria, how are you feeling? You suddenly fainted after all. Um, well, I feel fine. Tyria, I have something to ask of you. We want to hear in detail about what you said yesterday. You did seem like you've met with Mikado before, and you knew the, the exact situation we were in, right? Please, we're counting on you. Dog, don't put all this pressure on him. Sorry, I can't... Huh? You're joking, right? I can't tell you? Are you for real? What? Why? Is there a reason? All I can tell you now are just two things. First, not all my memories have returned to me, only the ones about my classmates. Okay, I expected that. That doesn't matter, we desperately need information about anything. And secondly, I cannot trust you, excuse me? Oh, wait, there's voids. What? What do you mean by that? There's voids. What are you talking about? You were on about us being comrades and all oh, just yesterday. Listen carefully. Hope's Peak is long gone. It's been closed for a while now. What? Hope's Peak has been closed down a few years ago with us being the last students. So it's contradictory for you to be Hope's Peak freshman. What are you talking about? We've only just recently received our admission to Hope's Peak. Nah, bro, it was a setup. That means it was a setup. All of them got kidnapped. Wait. If this takes place after the tragedy, does this take place after the tragedy? It has to. Right? So then, are these guys even ultimates? What if they just kidnapped normal people and gave them ultimates, like rewrote their memories? Wait, that doesn't explain Mikado's magic. Maybe Mikado can just use magic, bro. I don't know. Uh, let me stop trying to make theories. I'm probably wrong anyway. What are you talking about? We've only just received our admission to Hope Speak. No, you guys are mistaken. Hope Speak is now history. I did hear that it's rebuilding, but it'll be quite a while before that's finished. So to me, you're just a bunch of thugs that are pretending to be- Oh, come on, dude. Don't say that. Hey, mister, watch your words. You're starting to- You're talking like we're the bad guys here. I'm sorry, I really want to trust you. But now that my memory has returned, I need to be more careful. 
My head's a bit confused from all this new info as well. But until your identities become clear, I cannot tell you or act with you as a team. Are you fucking serious? That's your reason? So we can't even listen to your past stories? In the killing game I experienced, there was a mastermind amongst us lying to us the whole time. I cannot decide whether to trust you as of now. Hey, brother, I don't think there's even a need for a discussion, for that matter. We're in the same situation. We've... We also have the mastermind in the group called Void, including Mikado amongst us. Yeah, we managed to trust each other, and now you can't trust us because of your memory? Things are different from last time, alright? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled. Just give me some time, I'm not gonna act along like Nikkei. Now that some of my memory has returned, I'll do my best in my own way to contact with headquarters. And investigate about your identities as soon as possible, then I will rejoin you. We could have refuted Teria's words, but nobody opted to. They couldn't. He just looked as confused enough on his own. Alright, we understand. We'll be waiting for you. But, big bro. If you change your mind, you are welcome whenever. After all, you're not a void. Or the same as the likes of Nikkei or Saibai, right? I appreciate you for understanding me. I imagine that I came to this island to save you. But if you are part of despair, forget me. You will never escape the grasp of him. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What? Sorry, I need some time to think this through. I'll leave with my food right now. Sorry for the intrusion. Huh? After Terrio left, a heavy silence fell at the diner. We thought we'd have some progress now that Terrio regained his memories. We we're being too naive? The situation went south, and instead of progress, we lost a valuable ally. Dude. Why did things turn out this way? Terrio definitely seemed like he remembered something. Yeah, he did, because he wouldn't just be saying that. What do you guys think about Hope's Peak being closed down a few years ago? That makes no sense. Then what's up with the admission letters we got? You all received them, right? I don't remember anything in the first place. Yeah, and Sora is here too, dude! Who is Sora? What is up with Sora? Why does she not remember anything? Perhaps somebody sent fake letters to kidnap us, yeah. But Kanade, Hope's Peak is an elite institute, not just in Japan, but the whole world. And if it closed down a few years ago, how could we have not known it? Known about it. Not just one, but all of us. I agree. And Terry has said it was a few years ago, but I even saw a special on Hope's Peak on TV just a few months ago. Let's stop this. Shinji. As long as we're confident in ourselves, there's no need to worry. Terry is just as confused to make logical judgments. The reason he is avoiding us is because our identities aren't clear to him, right? As long as we solve that problem, he'll approach us again. Then he'll naturally tell us what he remembered. So we just have to wait again. Positivity. <laughs> well, no, that's the only way she could contribute to the conversation. In times like these, we should think positively. As long as we can gather clues, we can wait just a bit longer. Araha. You're right. If we become depressed... Just because things turn out to be different than expected, then we'll never get out of here. Let's investigate like always. But will that be enough? Even excluding Mikado, there are two more voids. And we don't have the faintest idea who they could be. Emma had a conscience towards us, yet she wasn't able to escape from Void. Are we sure we're doing fine? Seriously, is it okay just to stay like this? Yuki, again with your... She's probably gonna get hit by Shinji for that. Shinji? Huh? What did you say? Satsuka, say something to brighten everyone up. You've been silent up until now. Huh? Um, well, we just gotta resume our investigation, I guess. I'm only able to stand because you were there for me. We need you, Setsuka. If you're not here, then I'll... Sis, are you crying? Who says I'm crying? I'm not the crybaby I was before. Yay! Now, everyone, let's investigate. Gosh, it isn't hard to... Because the park is so huge. She's just putting on a facade, dude. I feel bad now. This is horrible. Everyone, it seems like you've hit a brick wall. Why are you here? Mikado, when did you enter? Please leave. <laughs> Bro, what? I wish I had Sora's energy. I really do. Come to think of it, we haven't seen you since yesterday's report session. You're not going on about doing weird stuff, are you? Weird stuff? I'm afraid that's what you people are doing. What? How dare you? 
I hinted at this after Kokoro died, but you really haven't changed at all. You were all mighty and confident, saying that you would escape with all the voids. And what's this? The trial is over. The third island is here. And yet the so-called brave students are doing nothing but endless pointless investigating? Your thought process is refusing to move on. Like a hopeless herbivore that refused to evolve. You rat! Are you here just to make fun of us? What is happening? You're all being so difficult. I need you all to grow as people. Well, that, that doesn't matter. Since there wasn't much change from Teria, I guess I need to speed up my plans a bit. What are you talking about? About the surprise I'm preparing for you tonight. Dog, I can't get used to this, right? The, this something... This... <sighs> Enough with the side events. It's time that I get on the move. Now then, everybody... Bro, don't make that face after... St Mikado, stop it. <laughs> You're too much. Now then, everyone. Please look forward to the, tonight's show. What is the deal with him? It seriously just makes me mad. Didn't he seem a bit different today, though? I'm not sure. I never even paid much attention to him in the first place. He's definitely different. He's getting more aggressive. Ignoring him, his words have zero value. Whatever who's on about, we just have to keep doing what we've been doing. Let's get moving, everyone. Our thought process has stopped, so we have to change? Let's go investigate, Yuki. Yeah. There she is. There's less throwing rides here than I thought there'd be. Yeah. Sorry, you're asking me if I'm free right now? I mean, I'm fine with it, but since we need to investigate, let's be quick with it. Nice. Okay, what would she like? That is the real question. Non-alcoholic wine. I feel like she would like that. I am, I am I right with this? What? Sora, th can I have it? No, I'm not going to say thank you, but it is something I... <laughs> she liked it. Nice. Sora, is there something bothering you recently? Something bothering me? There's something wrong, you can tell me. I may I might be assuming things. If it's not a problem, I'll listen. Hmm, well. Ah, oh, if it's personal, it's okay. You don't have to. Why is she thinking so much about it? I guess it's about myself. Huh? I mean, having amnesia and all, to be honest, I don't even know my name. Sora is only a temporary name. Technically, I don't even know what I'm actually called. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried about it. Yeah, that is a lot to think about, dude. Sora. I'd say it's for the best that you take your mind off that for now. Since we don't have any clues about your lost memories or how to get them back, there's a lot of other stuff we need to think about, like this killing skull trip or whatever. We can recover your memories after we survive this and escape this island. I hope you don't get too much stress from it about your memories. I'll help you once... I'll help you find them once we're safe and off this dreadful island. There we go. Was that too much? I'm sorry if I... Nah. Thank you. Huh? You're right, sir. Reviving is our main priority. Your words helped a lot. Really? That's a relief. Nice. It's nothing, really, but since I... Since I've met and talked with a lot of different people through my job, you naturally get used to listening to others. I'm always here to listen, since that's my thing and all. Okay, could I talk to you next time? There's something bothering me? Huh? Well, of course, you're always more than welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. I like her. After chatting with Yoriko, I return to my room. Let's talk to her again. I, I really like that. Wow. This was the first place I went to and I found her instantly. That is actu that that is luck. I got Yuki's luck, bro. Sora, you're asking me if I'm free right now? I mean, I'm fine with it. But since we need an investigate, let's be quick with it. Alright, I have another one of that coffee thing I gave her. So, not coffee. It was, uh, yeah, the non-alcoholic wine. Yes. Yes, let's go. I don't know if she'd like coffee. I feel like she wouldn't. Sora, good work. You're probably tired from all that investigating, aren't you? Speak for yourself. I'm fine. We didn't find any clues, though. Let's just take a break for now. Alright. I hope we'll be able to get out of here as soon as possible. I don't care about the score or whatever. I just want to get back to work. 
Wow, really? That reminds me, you're the ultimate hostess, right? How did you become a hostess when you're a miner? That is a good question. Hmm, you mean my job? Well, there's nothing to gain from knowing about it. I don't want to force her to say something she doesn't want to talk about. If you don't want to tell me, I won't press any further. Huh? Aren't you cute? Oh my god! I honestly don't mind if it's just you that knows. Sundere? Ah! <laughs> uh, I hate this game. I hate this game. Now's not the right time, I'll tell you later. My heart just isn't ready yet. If you're uncomfortable with it, you don't have to force yourself to tell me. No, it's fine. You just want to know about me, right? In exchange, how about you tell me something about you? I would love to, if only I knew anything about- Ah! Amnesia, right, sorry. That was careless of me. It's alright, well, then I'll be looking forward to that chance. Alright, let's start investigating again, now that we've rested enough. I like Yoriko, dude. I should have hung out with her, like, a while ago. She's really cool. Huh? Wait, what? I'm, I always think it's just useless dialogue and I speed through it, and then someone says something. Why do I always do that? I myself am a bit startled by this, but please gather immediately. Failure to attend will result in punishment. What? What is happening? What was that announcement? Come to think of it, didn't Mikado say that something this morning? Well, that doesn't matter. Since there wasn't much change from Terry, I guess I need to speed up my plans a bit. What are you talking about? This surprise him. Oh my gosh, he wasn't lying! Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what he's scheming, but I should go to the auditorium. Let's go! What is happening? <laughs> is everyone here? Why? Why'd you call us when it's almost nighttime? And why the hell is Mikado posing over there? Well, that's... The reason I gathered everyone here is... Are you for real? Motives? What's that? He called everyone? I thought it was Monogro. Actually, I did it by Mikado's request. Usually these kinds of requests are unacceptable, but... Dude, are you kidding me? That bastard's the one who kidnapped us. <laughs> and he himself promised the exact following, that he'd participate in this game as a student. And our dear teacher, who's supposed to stay neutral at all costs, forced us to gather because some student's request? I wouldn't go this far to if the situation didn't call for it. What's that supposed to mean? There's no need for you to know about that. You should all just quietly receive your motives, that's all. So, what are these motives? Oh, a video is going to be sent to your student handbooks. It's a short video about three minutes long, and it's about your precious ones. What's it going to be, a human documentary? There's no way a video from Monocro can be that touching. Once the video has been sent, all you have to do is watch it right here, right now. The details of the video is different for each person but it will feature the person you care about the most. It's our most precious ones, our family? Whatever video it may be, it doesn't sound like a good one. You're right, we can just choose not to watch- No, he's gonna say you have to watch it. Who thinks we're just gonna listen to the likes of you? If you don't watch the video, you'll- Yeah, see? What- What did I tell you? This man- <laughs> Punishment this, punishment that. Mikado Sinoji, aren't you acting a bit weird? Not only did you send a personal request to Monoko, but now you're on about punishment? Why the sudden change of heart to act like a mastermind? Personally, I don't want to do this myself, but if I don't, the whole plan might be ruined. There's that much distortion in this world right now. He looks so annoyed with everyone's shit. Just look at his mask. Like, <laughs> enough of the nonsense. If you're going to show us something, do it quickly. It's already nighttime and we're wasting valuable time here. You know, I agree with him for once. Very well. I've now sent the videos. Please check your student handbooks. Oh, God. As soon as Monocro ended his words, everyone showed immediate response. So I buy Nikkei and Teria immediately checked their handbooks. All the others hesitated. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna see it? Wait, something feels wrong about this. Mikado has never acted like this before. I don't know how he said, and I don't like how he said motive. I agree. It feels like we won't be able to back, go back once we see this. It'll be against the rules not to see it, right? We have no choice. Then how about this? Let's not get startled by whatever the video may be. Yeah, that's not happening. Whatever Mikado is planning, if we team up, it'll be alright. Alright, Mikado is eyeing us, so let's hurry up and see this. There was uh, this unnerving feeling of uncomfortableness, but we didn't have a choice. 
Just like Setsuka said. We took a deep breath and played the video that was sent to us. Once I played the video in my handbook, the only thing that showed up on my screen was... Water? The bottom of a dark, endless ocean. Somebody was falling deep into the bottom of the sea, but it was too dark to see who that person was. But that person was falling endlessly into the cold, freezing ocean. What? Is this the dream I recently had? How did a dream I had end up as a video? Wait, is this the video in the first place? Monocro said that our most precious ones would be would show up, but I recall no memory of this scene. Is the person drowning the most precious person to me? Since I don't know what to make of it right now, I guess I'll think of it later. For now, I need to talk with the others about... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, nah. Fuck. Yep, this is not good. No. Oh my god, no! What is happening? This is... What's wrong, everyone? Calm down, Hibiki. You fucker! Dude, fuck me, Kato! Oh my god! He's such a good antagonist, I hate him so much. This was clearly unexpected. This, this is it. This feeling of despair. This despair will make you grow, step by step. He is unfazed. Mikado, what are you trying to pull by showing us something like this? To explain, you all probably seen a scene of your most precious ones. I don't know what kind of state they were in, but you'll each know how yours are like, right? Now this is the highlight. Three days. If a murder occurs within three days, I will show the black in the final part of the video you saw. In that video, you'll see what happened to that person, where they are, and most importantly, what state they are in so that you'll get to see everything. This will apply to even if you do not win the class trial. In other words, even if you fail at the class trial and get executed, you'd at least solve your curiosity about the video before your death as a parting gift. <laughs> I see, so that's your motive. You're basically giving us a motive to kill each other. Monocro explained the details for us, but the only people listening was me, Sayobai, and a few others. I couldn't even understand what I saw, and it was far off to become a motive for murder, yeah. Sora kind of got lucky with her video, to be honest. I didn't have any memory of this precious person, and it didn't make sense to murder somebody just to know who they are. But for others, it was a different situation. Yeah. Everyone, what is going on? What kind of video did you all see? It, it doesn't make sense to ask about it. Sora, why are you acting as if everything's okay? Mother. Mother. Uh. Did he throw up? Hibiki told us not to panic, whatever the contents were. And here is Sis completely panicking. It's a lie. It's a lie. What happened? Get a hold of yourself, Shinji Kasai. This is a trap. You can't be swayed by such an obvious trap. Everyone. Hey, can I leave your dun- Bro, this man is- Saibai is literally built different. Well, you can, but a video of the same level must have sent you as well. Aren't you the least bit shook? You think I'm gonna get all sentimental from this after all I went through? I'm leaving. He really said fuck you. You're the same as always, huh? Mikado Sanoji. You bastard. How did you know this? Only those guys and I should be the only ones who knew about this event. I think I ran away from you all the time? I told you before, once you set foot on this island, it was game over for you. That that can't be true. Yeah, that can't be true. Wait, Teria. You know something, don't you? Help us. We need someone on our side right now. I tried calling Terry as a last resort, but he left without even turning back. Dude, fuck. Mikado, are you sure? We'll be fine with this? Monocro, all you have to do is just do what you were told to. Hon Honestly, Monocro isn't even like... He has no influence on them at all. Everything here is done for a reason, after all. Everyone. It's now late at night. I recommend that we all sleep now. After all, we need to investigate and do our best tomorrow. Oh my gosh. One by one, people left the auditorium. The only ones left were the usual group. Call it a curse or a blessing. I was the only one seen. Not able to understand my video. But I didn't have anything to say to everyone. I didn't have the ability to give them hope. I didn't have any leadership skills like Shinji, Setsuka, or Hibiki. There wasn't anything I could do in a situation like this. 
What should we do? What should I do? It's alright, Sora. Satsuka? Hibiki, come here. Don't worry about a thing, okay? Satsuka, but... Mom and Dad. Dude. This is horrible. Void or whatever. I don't care now. We have to get out of here right now. But to do that, you need to kill someone. Stop! Don't worry. For now, let's all head to bed and clear our minds up. There's gonna be a parade tomorrow evening. I imagine Monocro is gonna announce you sooner or later. While we see the parade, I have something to tell you, so until then, please act normal. There's a parade tomorrow? How do you know that? Because Sora told everyone. Satsuka? Satsuka, you know something, don't you? Kanade, please take care of Ibiki. That's what family is for, right? No, I'm gonna stay with Setsuka. Everyone, let's head to sleep. Sora, it's late at night and Setsuka said, We can worry about these things later and sleep first. We can discuss this tomorrow morning. If what Setsuka says is true, tomorrow's gonna be a big day. You're right. Think positively. Whatever we may have seen, it came from Mikado, right? This must be a trick by Mikado. It realistically couldn't have happened whatsoever. Sora, Iroha... You're right. By these days' standards, CGs of this level is definitely possible. I can't go crying about a video I don't know is real. Everyone's doing their best, and I, a man, am going to slumber like this? I don't think so. Let's go sleep. We're all going to recover from this when we wake up. Sora, thanks. Sora, Ira, thanks. You cheered everyone up. No, I wouldn't have been able to do anything without you. you just I just rode on your back, that's all. You're always dependable. We're all thankful for that. Teria isn't here, neither is Yuki. Good morning, Sora. <sighs> See that not everyone is gathered. Where are Yuki and Araha? They'll come here sooner or later. Let's eat for now. <laughs> Bro, why are you here? I, I, I'm feeling particularly happy today. Western-style breakfast set with French bread. I prepared the Americano so you can have it after you finish your meals. So help yourselves. Don't mind if I do. Hmm? Usually at this point, you'd all try to shoo at me out or jab at me. But for things to be this quiet, this in itself is interesting. Yuki, you came. You're late. Yeah, I wasn't feeling so good. Hurry up and eat your breakfast. Ira isn't here yet, but we just decided to eat ahead. If I become invisible or something, did I gain a passive magic skill to my arsenal unbeknownst to me? To be honest, I'd prefer if you jab at me. To be ignored to such a point actually hurts my fragile heart even more. Why are you here? You all don't look so good. Well, guess that was expected. I mowed a video yesterday. Um, if it isn't too much to ask, I want to know what everyone's video- Bro, don't ask that! No. Don't make me remember it. For real! Sis, no crying. You're amazing, Sora. I don't know what you saw, but to remain so calm... I saw footage of an accident of someone close to me during middle school. I lost contact with her for several years, and that person was attacked by some thugs. My house was on fire. My father and little brother were caught in the flames calling my name. My lifelong partners at the fire department charged into the house to save my family, and the next moment the house fell down. And the video ended there. It was the same for me. I don't know what happened in the end, but... Just from watching that video, I... Everyone! You're all wrong! I'm not staying calm after witnessing the same horrible footage as you. I just happen to not understand the content of the video due to my memory loss. I'm not as great as you think I am. If I understood the video, I would have been in the same state as you. Sora. The amazing one here is Setsuka. Unlike me, Setsuka was able to cheer everyone up even after witnessing such a horrible video. Even now, she's keeping her head cool. You're overpraising me, Sora. I'm not that great either. Besides, I... No, I should leave it for after the parade. Remember what I said yesterday? You might have heard this already from the morning announcement, but there's going to be a parade at 6. There's some things I want to tell you. I know it's hard, but just until then, you need to hold yourselves. 
Oh, Setsuko, are you gonna watch the parade with everyone? Please count me in. I feel I feel that now you are all feeling down. My chance to become your true but Bro, no! I'm sorry that I'm so late. Ira, huh? Why were you so late? Well, I couldn't fall asleep last night and ended up sleeping late, so I overslept. You look the same as always. Didn't you see that horrible video? Huh? Oh, the motive. Of course I'm troubled, but I told you before yesterday, remember? We need to think positively. Even if I'm concerned about the video, there's nothing to do about it. We don't know if the video is even real to begin with. I don't know. Um, was I being too insensitive? If so, I'm sorry. No, I think you're, you're pretty amazing. Well, I said, it's because of kids like you that Big Sis can get some relief around here. That's all more the reason I should tell you. What? Nothing. No Bro, stop teasing us! We should all... <laughs> I'm sorry. We should gather at the main plaza about 10 minutes before the parade. Now that it has come to this, why don't we just enjoy ourselves? Sis? I'm going to take a rest in my room. Wait, sis, where are you going? You haven't even finished your breakfast. Hibika's condition seems to be getting worse. Come to think of it, she broke down in the most out of everyone yesterday. She became very dependable after Emma's case, but she seems to have reverted back to her old self. Well, we can't help it. It seems like everyone's... Everyone except Ira has finished their meal, so let's get moving. Kanade, you stay at Hibiki's side for now. What? But... You don't have to mind us. She's your family, right? You should be there for her. Go on. Alright then. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and investigate for now. Family. To be with your family in a situation like this, I'm honestly jealous of those twins. I wonder what happened to my family. Yuki. Yes. Alright, Yuki, why don't we go do some squats? You're finished, right? Huh? Yeah, I have. There's nothing better than moving your body when you're troubled. Let's get our bodies... To Let's let our bodies do the talking and bond together. Pfft. Ew, gross. You spat everything out, Ira. Ah, sorry. The food got caught in my throat. <laughs> Wait, why are you drinking your coffee, Ira? It'll go down wonderfully with the bread. True. You have an eye for food, Sora. Today's breakfast is made with the chemi uh, chemistry of coffee and bread in mind. Well, I can't drink Americano. Now, if it was a sweet latte, I'd, then we'd be talking. Then can I have that? Wow. <laughs> she just snagged her drink. Isn't it too bitter? I'm personally a big fan of coffee. Now then, I, I hope you enjoy your breakfast. I'm going to head out as well. You'll be here for the parade, right? Of course. See you then. Bro. The, the twins are going to die before the parade. I'm calling it right now. Something is going to happen to them before the parade. Oh, I'm not reading. I'm sorry. Even if Mikado was trying to urge us to murder someone using the motive, we're still doing fine. I think we're all going to hang on until we hear something from Setsuka during the parade. Seems like everyone has returned back to their normal investigating routines. The parade is this evening. I have a lot of time on my hands until then. I can't lose every I can't lose to everyone. I must do my best as well. Though I wonder, what exactly Setsuka is going to tell us? She constantly seemed concerned ever since the last trial. Maybe it's related to that. Now then, for today. What? Huh? What's this? I suddenly feel extremely drowsy. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I slept quite well yesterday. And I even had two cups of coffee this morning. I can't just fall asleep. When everyone's doing their best and... It was impossible to stay awake from this unusual... Did someone drug Sora? Sora! Even if you come to hate me, I'll understand. But I wish that you'd understand this one thing. That I loved you. Although the time we spent together came to an end. Those times are more precious to me than anything. I'll never forget those moments. What happened? Huh? Was I... I was going to investigate after breakfast. How long did I sleep? What? Okay, we gotta go.
We gotta go. Even Nika is here. I'm surprised. Was I too late? Sorry, you made it in time. The parade didn't even start yet, but why are you so out of breath? I felt drowsy and fell asleep after breakfast, and I only just woke up from my sleep. So you slept through the whole day? I'm sorry. I don't know why I felt so sleepy. That aside, what? Why is the don't bother me anymore guy with us? Beats me. When we arrived, he was waiting at the plaza as well. He's here to watch the parade. Didn't think you guys would be here. Then why don't you head back? No siree, I have my pride as a reporter. I need to attend every major event for my experience. Ah, oh, of course I'm just going to ignore you and observe the parade from distance. So don't worry about me. Can you say even one sentence without making it sound annoying? Alright, calm down, Yuriko. Guys, doesn't it feel like something's off? Yeah, something is off. Who's missing? Where are all the others? It's past our meeting time. There's only a few minutes left until the parade starts. Even Sora was very late, so maybe everyone else is as well. I mean, I can understand everyone else, but why is Setsuka late when she's the one who suggested we all meet in the first place? Yuki, stop complaining and just wait for a moment. They'll come in time. I'm sorry I'm late. You came, Kanade. See, bro? Everyone's coming one by one. But why are you alone? Where's Hibiki? Well, I haven't met Sis ever since we had breakfast and... Had our breakfast in the diner this morning. Haven't met? What do you mean? She's been stuck in her room all day without answering. I haven't even seen her face since this morning. I guess Hibiki's just that much as shocked. Mic testing, can you hear me? Now then, let our Satsuki Lands Pride Parade begin. The parade will last around one hour, and the dolls will march from the storehouse from A Block and march around the given route. What a lengthy explanation, and what's up with this cheap music? Yeah, bro, this is whack. So it's starting. Wait, Setsuka's in here, as well as Iroha. What are we supposed to do? Where is everyone? Huh? Guys, it seems like Setsuka sent us a message. A message? What? Just from a few minutes ago, I guess we didn't notice. Did something happen? Well, at least she managed to leave us a message. Maybe we can just wait here and watch the parade in the meantime. Something came up, she said. Hibiki and Arha aren't here as well, but I guess, why not? Conversation kind of ended off there, and we just started to walk along with the parade route to watch the whole event. Oh, this is kind of cool. You're right, this isn't so bad. Guys, help me out in this interview. What do you think is the motif for that Sachi doll? I'm not sure, maybe a raccoon? Or is it, a? Uh... Hey, who are you to suddenly speak so friendly to us, you little... Hmm. I don't like you, but interviewing is a different story. <laughs> Many times do I have to repeat myself? Raccoon, I see. Not much of a help, but thanks anyways. You... <laughs> I know this isn't- this doesn't sound much coming from an amnesiac, but I think this is pretty amazing. What about you, Yuki? Um, well... What's wrong, Yuki? You seem to be panicking. Well, Setsuka said that there was something important she had to say for this parade, right? But for her to be so late when she's the one who suggested this, and she still hasn't arrived yet... Ira, being late as well, it all feels suspicious. Yuki, dude, you are complaining too much these days. <laughs> You should relax and enjoy something for once. For once, the parade itself was prepared by the disgusting mastermind for sure, but it's still a fun event. I guess so. We watched the parade for about an hour, and with the grand music in the air, the show came to an end. All the dolls bowing for a finale. Wow, that was awesome. You can say that again. I'm almost in tears. In my eye at that last part. Couldn't have agreed more, especially with that part with the fireworks. It's so rare these days that you get to see such a big event. Yep. Wait, why are you still with us again? Why don't you go away on your own now that the parade's over? I was gonna do that anyways, okay? But he's a tsundere too! What the fuck? There's definitely something wrong. Oh, now you think there's something wrong. What is it, Shinji? The parade's over and Setsuka isn't here. It's not just her, Iroha hasn't arrived, and Hibiki. So one of them died! 
One of them died. I told you, bro. Kanadi's gonna snap. Maybe we should send her a message? Ira's alive. Okay, thank God. I did not want her to die. Everyone. Ira, what kept you so long? The parade's over. Oh, I know that. I watched it from Block A. Block A, why were you in such a place? Um, before that, is Setsuka here? Hibiki or Setsuka died. If you're talking about Setsuka, she said she was going to be late because of some business, but the parade's already over. That's supposed to be because of a promise with me. Then where is she? What are you talking about? Explain yourself. Ira, start with why you were late. Well, just a few moments before the meeting time, I received a message from Setsuka. We saw that too. She said she was going to be late because of... Wait, what? No, that's not what my message said. Setsuka told me to come to the Mirror Mansion at 6 p.m. Huh? What in the name? What? She, she said that there was something she wanted to tell me in private before the parade. Said that it wasn't going to take long. So by some business, she meant meeting up with Iraha? Ah, seems so. The message that she sent to us has been sent to a chat room of seven people, including herself. Looks like Iraha wasn't invited. So I was waiting in front of the mansion, but she didn't come way after the parade had started. I debated going back with everyone. Going back to everyone, but then we could have missed each other in the midst of the commotion, so I stayed back there. But nobody even came to when the parade ended, so I went to the plaza, and here I am. So you waited for more than half an hour? For more than an hour? Don't people usually give up by that time? Well, I was busy watching the parade that I lost track of time. Wait, then what is this? It means someone died. Where is Setsuga? Someone died. You don't think... Let's search for her. Not just her, but everyone isn't here. Something might have happened to them. Did something really happen? That motive monocro gave us definitely did lower our mood, but the limit of our motive was three days, and only less than 24 hours had passed since then. We scattered around and decided to look for the missing people. Don't play this music, bro. C block. In terms of indoor facilities, this place has the most. I should check each and every one of them. Sora, so you came. Erica. I just arrived here to investigate, but I don't know where to start. There are a lot of indoor facilities in this place, so we should check. In s we should go inside and check each and every one of them. You're right. Let's split up and search. Yuriko, did you find anything? No, nothing at all. Same here. What should we do? Did something really happen to Setsuka? Maybe we're too late. Maybe she's already. Dude. Yuriko, calm down. Nothing has been confirmed right now. Huh? What are you doing around here when the parade's over? Huh? And why are you crying? Ha, huh, have you finally realized just kind of what a situation we're in and given up? Nika, shut up. We don't have time for you right now. <laughs> Setsuka's missing. We're all searching, so if you're not going to help, get out of our way. What? Setsuka's missing? Thought you weren't going to bother with us. Leave if you're going to annoy us. Wait, what do you mean Setsuka's missing? Fill me in with the details. Why? You're not going to help us anyways. I'll help you. What? You're serious? Why the sudden change of heart? I know I said I was going to act alone, but don't treat me the same as Saibai or Mikado. I only said that because I don't know who's a void or not. I don't intend to be selfish in an emergency like this. The thing is, Setsuka suggested watching the parade with everyone, but she didn't even come after the parade. She did send us a message that she was going to be late, but that contradicts Iroha's account. Things are obviously suspicious, right? Sora, we don't need help from the likes of him. Nah, we need as much help as we can get. Yeah, exactly. Let's call it a truce. Setsuka, why? Have you searched all of Block B? You didn't come over to where I was. There were... There in the monorails we haven't searched yet. Got it. I'll go back and look around my surroundings. I'll help. No, I think three people in one is area is too much. You go help the others. We're lacking in a lot of numbers. But to leave you two alone... Don't worry. I'll harass him as much as possible if he's up to no good. Yo, I thought we were on a truce. <laughs> Alright. If you find her, contact me. Dude, where the heck is she? Where is he, Beaky? She wasn't here, so maybe she could be in the in the mart or the port or even the monocruz. She has to be. If not, what are we to do about this? Wait, where's Iraha and Yuriko? Iraha went with me to Block A, but I haven't seen her since then. Returned here after having no success with the area that I was told to search. Yuriko is with Nikkei searching Department C. Nikkei, why is he? I'll explain later. Shouldn't we go ahead and search the monocruz? You're right, we searched everywhere in this huge park. 
And if she isn't here, she must be there. Perhaps something did happen to her. Huh? What the? A new message. Oh, it's from Setsuka. Really? What? But this is... Guys. What's up with this? Perhaps something did happen to Setsuka. What is going on? The devil? Everyone, maybe Setsuka's at the haunted house. What are you talking about? You yourself searched there. That is correct, but... The devil's part. Doesn't that remind you of that place? That place. The altar. You're right, the devil's altar. That was the gimmick with the haunted house. Let's just go! Come on! But there wasn't a sign of anyone there. What about Setsuka? I just thought that the... Come on! Let's go! No, I think it's worth a try. We might have missed each other the first time through sheer luck. And also, I think that the devil is a major keyword here. Alright, let's go. While we wait for Yoriko and Iroha to finish their investigation, perhaps they're heading to that place for the for the message. Alright, I give up. Don't blame, don't blame me if we don't find anything, though. Let's go! What the fuck?! What's up with all this blood? There's blood everywhere! Was this place always so dark? Wait a second, when I was here just a few minutes ago, it was nothing like this. Maybe you missed it because it was too- No! How can you miss it if the floor is sloshing with this much blood? If there's this much blood, then this means someone died! What marks we- Why are you so calm? What could have happened in that short span of time? No, this is not a joke. Whatever it is, something did happen over at that door. Let's go in. What is going on? Where did we go wrong? When did we go so wrong? Ever since that motive yesterday, our harm- Oh my- and while I was asking myself about that, the scenery behind that door gave a cruel, sinister reply. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <sighs> Can I even show this? Let me get off the screen. I, I don't want you guys to have to look at this. Someone butchered Setsuka to death. What? A body has been discovered. Everyone please gather to the haunted house. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? I have never... What was th why were you why was there a need to be that graphic? Usually when you kill someone, you don't literally cut up their entire body. There was no need to be that graphic. Yeah, I don't blame you for throwing up, dude. I feel like throwing up myself after seeing that. I'm sorry I'm not reading, bro. This is... No, there's something wrong with you. You cannot be talking like nothing's wrong. I had a, fe I had a bad feeling ever since the parade. But to think that they would dismember her body, the culprit sure has a weird taste. I think it's her. 
I think it's her. I'm, I'm gonna say that right now. Even in the mystery novels, things don't usually go this far. Please stop joking, Kanade. It... No. The, I need to visit the bathroom. We have to investigate. What should we do? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why? <sighs> Kanade is... Kanade is too much. Everyone will, will be here soon for the announcement. Let's keep an eye on the crime scene until then. I can't. This is just too much. Aren't you startled at all, Kanade? How can you stay calm when you're looking at this? Well, I was surprised, I guess you can say that. But the culprit this time is definitely no joke. Ha ha! It's her! It's her! Jesus Christ. After a few minutes that felt like forever, everyone else entered the altar, just like Kanade said. Nikkei and Yoriko, who were searching for Setsuka near the haunted house, arrived first. And it seemed like Yoriko also thought of this place once she saw Setsuka's message and heading this way to begin with. Ira has soon followed after. Then came Terio with a worried face and Mikado and Saibai who seemed, who were late as always. And it seemed like Yuriko, who also thought of this place once seeing Sitsuka's message, was about to give out at any moment. She fell to her knees as soon as she saw the scene. Everyone was screaming, barfing, and panicking from the hellscape that was in front of them. But once Monokuro showed up, things finally started to calm down a bit. Is everyone settled? What? Hibiki's hair! Come on, sis, you need to wake up. It's time for the inv- Shut the fuck up! Really, you haven't even tied your cute hair up yet. It's her. It's Kanade. Now, now, attention, everyone. If, as you stated, you will investigate in preparation for the upcoming class trial. Well, to be honest, this case is baffling, even for me. Now what do you mean for it by that? Nothing. It just seems like you haven't all calmed down yet. Investigate? We have to investigate Setsuka in that state? We can't. It's impossible. Even now, I can't even look at her and I'm supposed to investigate? If I may have a word in this. Grateful that a murder happened this fast after I showed you the motives. But this murder has gone too far. The killer had aimed too much for the style points? Are you fucking- Stop it, Shinji. You only kill yourself if you do that. How can you act so calm, Terya? Is it because you're a grown up? It has nothing to do with that. I'm just pretending to be calm, that's all. I know from experience, no matter how mo how hard it may be, how weak you may feel, there are things you must do. Yes, I'm just doing what I have to. That's our guidance teacher for you. Whether or not you're prepared, or whether you're prepared or not, you can't run from this. Now as usual, here's Monocro File 3. Additionally, all gates have been disabled for your, your convenient investigation. It has been disabled ever since the announcement, so those of you who might have arrived late might have already recognized that. Also, for some reason, the lights in the haunted house have been burned out. I will turn on the emergency lights for now. Consider yourselves lucky. <laughs> now, I will soon see you- This man has his evil lab. I will soon see you through the class trial announcement. Good luck with the investigating until then. Now then, everyone, get it. Shut up. Shut it, it's her! Who else would it be? Who else is crazy enough to do this? Like, I know I don't have any actual evidence, but that is my hunch. It's her. She's a psychopath. There's something wrong with her. Now, everyone, get a hold of yourselves, and let's start investigating. We need to catch the culprit. I guess it's the voids again? I wish it would just end now. I'm sorry, we're all sorry. We'll all do it. what you tell us. Just no more of this. Yuki, snap out of it. I think the culprit of this case not might not be a void this time. Why so? There's no reason for a person other than a void to kill. We do have one. Yesterday's motives. 
I don't know why Mikado is aiming through all this, but he gave us a reason to kill this time. If the killer's reason for murder was the motive, the killer might not be a void. That can't be. I thought that everyone here is a su- That would mean that everyone here is a suspect. Like we weren't in the first two cases? Would you please stop shouting nonsense? Both in the cases of Emma and Hajime, the fact that the culprit was a void only revealed after the reveal of who the culprit was. Everyone here is a suspect, void or not. It has always been like that, even without the motive. Kanade is right. In a class trial, you, in a class trial, you must put your relationships aside and suspect everyone to track the blacken. It seems like you all don't need my help this time. Then I'll join you and do my best as well. And you, just shut up, Mikado. I'll take care of the body. Those of you with weak hearts, investigate somewhere else. This park is huge, after all. Why are you acting so friendly all of a sudden? I heard that you helped search for Setsuka as well. It's a class trial. The fact that I don't consider you guys trustworthy doesn't matter in emergencies like these. Or what, do you want me to just do nothing like Mikado? I'm correction. I'm actually investigating on my part as well, but... No, you're right. I apologize. And please, I'll be counting on you. There. There's Shinji. So, we have to do this again? At least I don't have to look at the corpse this time. Setsuka, who always did her best to... To live our... To lift our spirits in these situations is dead. Even if she's not here, we need to do our best for her sake. That's right, we need to find the culprit. We need to win the class trial. As much as we're sick of this, we'll die if we don't do this. We must do this. We must find the black in amongst us. Huh? Now, this is a rare sight. Why are you reading the monocro file? Give it to me. I need to see it. You're gonna sl you're gonna sleep through the trial anyways. Let me ask you one thing. What? You were with the with the others up until the announcement, right? Explain in detail what you people were doing until then. Why? Why are you pretending to put in effort, Mr. Lonely only know how to sleep? Uh, feels like every damn brain cell of mine will die just from talking to you. Just shut up and talk. Alright then. The class trial is a matter of life and death after all. And that's what happened. Sabai, what's the matter? What? Why are you still here? Go away. <laughs> well, would you get a load of this, man? Good luck trying to get any info from me from now on. Just give me the file already. It's my fault for expecting something from that man. If you had any gratitude, at least... The least he could do was not trash talk the very person who helped him. Let's just erase that guy from my memory and read the file already. There must be a clue here. Oh my god. The victim is Setsuka Chaibukuro. The time of death is unknown. The body was found inside the altar of the haunted house from Block A. Sorry. The neck, the shoulders, the wrists, the thighs, and ankles were cut, dismembering the body into ten pieces. Who the fuck? I mean, obviously, Kanade, but... The torso is also missing. The murder weapon is a sharp object. The bones... Of the severed arms and legs have cracked traces? I did see the actual state of the body, but reading it in detail made me sick again. What grudge did the culprit have against Setsuka to go this far? The murder was on the level to make Yuri and Kokoro's death feel like it was a mercy kill. As horrible as this was, we must look in detail about it. The info given to us through the files are the whole body was butchered, so obviously a sharp object was used in the crime. And sure enough, the file mentions that the murder weapon is exactly that. But there's something bothering me. Like last time with Kokoro's case, the time of murder wasn't displayed. Yeah, what is up with that? That was because the exact time of death was impossible to, t to determine because of her body's frozen state. But Setsuka's body was dismembered, and there seems to be no sign of the culprit tampering with the body's temperature. Then why is the time of death not revealed here? There's no point in wondering about it alone. Let's write this down and share the information with the others. Alright. Uh, I thought I had a pretty strong stomach. Yeah, this is fucked for anyone, dude. I had to, like... Like, I had to leave, dude. When the body discovery announcement happened. That was too much to see. Like... 
What? What the fuck, dude? This this game. Okay, I know it's a fan game, but holy shit, this is dark. Boy. Hey, you don't have to force yourself. I'll cover the body for you. Nika. No, I appreciate the thought, but let me investigate as well. The more people that investigate, the easier the class trial will be. You say so. Excuse me, then. Dude, I don't want to see this. <sighs> I didn't notice then before, but each pillar had the Chinese letter for each body part written on it, and the body was lean so that the letter matched accordingly. So they went along with the attraction gimmick? The sign in front of the altar also said the following. So I can first the body of your most pre precious one. Then the devil will be summoned to grant your wishes. There's no way that the killer actually believed this, right? Even if they did, butchering someone else's body is barbaric, disgusting, and simply inhumane. Kanade. Yeah, copycat crime. Bro, I don't want to see this, please. P no, I- stop. J j I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is too much for me. Dog, I don't want to see this! I'll read it later during the class trial in the file, man. Please. I- are you alright? I told you not to overwork yourself. I'm fine. I just can't gloss over the body when there's a class trial coming up, right? That aside, you became very friendly, Nikkei, even if we're on a truce. Feels like you've reverted back to when we first met. Well, the situation called for it. Why is there a problem with that? There isn't, bro. I like you this way. <laughs> no thanks. I'll go search the other areas. Oh, her torso's missing? Huh. Teria. Huh? Sora, what's wrong? Why did I do that? I'm sorry, guys. Especially since you weren't with us throughout the today, along with a few others. I feel sorry about that, but I didn't find a clue about your innocence yet. I'll come back once I fully regain my memories and learn the truth about you. That's all good, but the class trial comes first. Ah, oh, you're right. Actually, there was something weird that happened while I was doing the item check today. I was doing my uh, daily checkup for each area this morning, but something was off with the infirmary. You know that they keep blood packs in the refrigerator there, right? Well, somebody took all of them. All of them? Yeah, just yesterday. They, they were all definitely there. And that's not all. The medical kit with the bandages, ointment, and antibiotics? Someone took all of that as well. But when I came back this afternoon, they were back there in its place. But the blood packs were still missing? Yeah, I was gonna tell you. Yeah, so the blood from there is the blood that's on the floor everywhere. But with the motive yesterday night, it I wasn't in my right mind to tell you. I knew if a murder like this would happen this soon, I would have told you immediately. Calm down. There's no proof that the culprit used those blood packs. I don't. You, bro, what do you mean there's no. The proof is in front of you! The medical kit was returned soon after, then maybe someone other than the culprit needed it for a moment. Nah, that's unlikely. You're being considerate as always. But thanks. Uh, but I feel like this might be related to the case, so maybe my account could help us out in the trial. Someone to take the blood packs? Could it be the work of the culprit? Yes! Look at the blood on the floor! Maybe important. Maybe I should write this down. Come on, Sora. Dude. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, where were you all day? Ira, what were you doing? Oh, this is the crime scene, so it must have a lot of clues, right? So I was trying to investigate this place, but... With Setsuka's body over there and the smells of blood, you don't have to force yourself to search here, Araha. As Nikkei said, leave this place to us to investigate some places, some other places in the meantime. No, I'll do what I can. The ghost house seems to be the key place in this case. That reminds me, I saw Hibiki entering this place just before, and... Hibiki? I thought she was resting in her room today. Um, I don't know about that. I saw her when I was heading to the Mirror Mansion at 6pm to meet with Setsuka. She was using her handbook to enter this place. What? What's wrong, Sora? Nothing, it's just that what you just said might prove very crucial to this case. Yeah, for real. Thank you, and don't force yourself to investigate the body, so you take care of things you can. Okay, thanks for being so considerate, Sora. What was she doing? It's quite small. Look inside the fireplace just in case. The smell of ashes and dust welcomes my face. The fireplace itself is quite large, but the chimney inside was quite long and short. No Santa's gonna make his way to deliver presents through this small pathway. Huh? What? What are these? Black plastic bags? There are some used-up black plastic bags amongst the firewood. I almost didn't notice it with this place being black and this place being so dark. Was this always here? Today was the first and only time that the fire was put out. If that was here before, 
it would have already melted from the fire. Yeah. Perhaps these are traces left by the culprit. This looks to be very crucial evidence. Oh, this is... Inside, all the electrical wires were cut. Yeah, I was thinking they definitely cut the wires or something. The only person... The person who cut these wires must be the culprit. This could be used as evidence, so I should write this down. Yeah. Because the lights just don't go out like that, bro. I was thinking they cut the lights or something. Shinji, what are you doing? Oh, Sora, investigating her as, as usual? What is happening? Did you stop doing that? It makes me feel like I'm some sort of big boss of a Yakuza clan. Sorry about that. Er, I was looking at the gate records. The gate records? Yeah, Yuki told me that with this island we can keep track of our alibis using the gate records. But I don't fully understand what he meant by that, so I was looking into it. Yuki's got the better brain between us, so I've got to listen to him. But as you can see, I'm not good with machines. I barely even use the handbooks. The gate records. Yuki has a point. After all, the murder definitely seems like it happened inside Satsuki Island. Although our names don't show up, we can try to validate our alibis using the timestamps shown on it. I'll help you out. Thank you. Um, if you push the panel here, the screen does show up, but you just slide the screen like so. See? You get a record of all the people who passed... It feels like we're teaching an old guy how to use Facebook, dude. Like, what? Well, the technology these days is amazing. Amazing. Even mobile phones these days have at least this level of technology. Yeah, bro. What are you... You've been living under a rock? I'm sorry. I don't know much about this stuff. Let's see. For today's records... Huh? In, in, in. Out, out, in, in. What? I don't understand this. Now, considering what happened today, there isn't much new info about it. There are four records listed. Okay. You, Yuki, Kanade, and I were searching for Setsuka. Oh, you're right. And the new gate system was turned off after the body was found. Yeah, so it makes sense that the, all of these are here. Well, the ID that went inside at 1924 went out in 1936. So that's got to be me, since... So we only have to check the other three. Oh, I, I. That's you? How can you be sure when your name doesn't show up? You know, it's just the idea. I remember the time that I just went inside. I mean, it's only been an hour since then. That was back when we had split up to search for Setsuka. I see. I'm sorry, did you see anyone while you were inside the haunted house? No. No one, actually. There wasn't anyone, nor any blood trails or corpses for that matter. There was, I would have told you immediately. Please believe me on this. Yeah. No, it's not that I don't believe you. But by these records, you went out in 1936. And somebody else had gotten out of the ghost house six minutes later. So that would mean that there was somebody inside when you entered the ghost house back then. Yeah, that is true. You're right. The person who went out at 1755 was in there for two hours? Does that mean this person stayed inside? But I didn't find anyone there. Am I the only one who got the chills here? Nah, bro. The ID must be the culprits, right? The culprit must have entered the ghost house at some point. So they must have hit themselves somewhere when you went inside. That is so creepy. Okay, so the culprit stayed there for two hours. And then Sora entered. And what about the person at 1757? Who is that? There's no out record for them. That's probably Setsuka. Oh. There'd be no out record of her because she died there, yeah. The one thing I don't understand is Setsuka and the culprit should have been inside the ghost house when I entered there. But I'm positive I gave quite a thorough search and so Well, it's impossible to butcher someone's body in like 20 minutes and set it up like that, bro. That is not enough time. But even if I was there during a blackout, could I have really missed two people? And if that's true, then I could have stopped Setsuka's death while I was in there. Nah, it already happened by then. Sora, please don't make such a face. It's not your fault. Anyways, we need to catch the culprit who did such a terrible thing. No, we must catch them. Shinji, are you trying to cheer me up? How sweet of you. Thanks, you're right. I gotta do my best for Setsuka's sake. Oh, right, Sora. There was something I wanted to ask you. Yeah? I was gonna visit the swimming pool during the daytime to take my mind off things. And the pool to Block C was prohibited from entering. So I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Prohibited from entering? What do you mean? First time I heard such a thing. Well, there was this picket saying that it was against the rules to use the pool while it was time for pool sanitation. But when we were searching for Setsuka, that picket had been taken down. 
Then it wasn't just the case that it was the pool sanitation when you went there. But up until yesterday, we had used the swimming pool without anything about that being brought up, so I thought it felt all too sudden. Alright then, I'll investigate more Block A in the meantime. The pool. Shinji's words do have a point. I should go there and investigate that place as well. There are going to be so many bullets for this man. A clothespin? What? Why would there be clothespins in the flower bed? Is that evidence? I don't know what these were used for, but they could be evidence. Let's keep them in mind. Oh, can not Kanade. Hibiki. Hibiki's hairpins, right? Man, there are so many bullets, dude. This is going to be a hard trial, I feel like. Okay, let's check the gate records for the pool. According to Shinji, you couldn't enter during the daytime due to pool sanitation. You could already check the gate records since I'm here. Okay, so this is confusing as shit, dude. Five IDs. There are five people who used the pool today. Out of these five records, the last one written must be when we were searching for Setsuka. That would mean that two people entered the pool at morning and went out about an hour later. Nobody else entered since due to the pool being closed. Huh? 1254. Someone entered during that time. Why? This very contradicts Shinji's account, of course. Shinji didn't mention the exact time, but simply referred to it as daylight. So it's... Yeah. That's in range of daytime. Whoever this is... Entered... They stayed at the pool for five hours? What? Mystery didn't end there. The person who entered at 1724, there are no records of this person leaving the pool. What is happening? Why is there also an ID without an out record here in the pool? This is 30 minutes before the parade had started. I should ask the others if there was anyone who entered the pool during this time. No one's going to answer truthfully. What? Why would they? That doesn't make sense. Oh. Folding screen. How did I miss this? Huh? Hold on a minute. Was it always located this up front? Oh. Huh. What happened? The folding was originally located right to the next to the wall, but it was moved out a bit forward. And in that space, there was now a space big enough for a human being. But more importantly, this is blood. There's a large pool of blood in the space behind the pool. What? What does this mean? For this, That means that's where Setsuka was killed. No, it wasn't. I guess I didn't check it thoroughly with this place being so dark. Even now, with the dim light, it's hard to notice until I got real close to it. But one thing was for sure. There was enough space for someone to hide behind the screen. Antibiotic. Biotic. Antibiotic. What is this? I accidentally kicked something while investigating the area. On a closer look, it was a bottle of some sort. Pencil. What? Why did they end up in a place like this? It should be back at the infirmary for them to be in such a place. And to top it off, it wasn't even an empty bottle, but an unopened new package? It wasn't even a needle to go with it. Just a full bottle lying around here like it's nothing. I should write it down. Why was that there? Oh, that's it. Well, shit. I assume that enough time was given for everything to be inspected. The night time is almost here. Let's start the fun before it gets too late. The fun. <laughs> I will now open the trial gates. So everyone gather around the trial entrance on the first floor of the monocruz. I don't think there's a need for me to mention this a third time, but participation is obligated. I will not allow being later absent, so keep that in mind. Oh my god, dude. I don't think I have the slightest idea about the case. I do! I know who it is! But it's almost night time, as Monocro said, and if it gets too late, we might have to proceed to a trial where everyone is sleeping. Well, for me, I did sleep throughout the whole day, so I'm fine, but... The answer's been need, so there's no a choice but to head for the... What? What is wrong with her? Hibiki, you're still here? Get a hold of yourself, Hibiki. I know you're shocked, but you'll die if you don't make it through the trial. Where's Kanadi when you need her? Hmm? Did I just step on something, or... What? The thing I stepped on was Hibiki's hairpin. It looked quite familiar. It had the same shape of a, of an eighth of a musical note. Why is this? I mean, of course the owner of the, is right in front of me, duh. Hibiki, please wake up. Your hairpin was right here on the ground. 
What is wrong with her? Why should I be the one doing this? So this is how Kanade feels all the time. Biki, come on, here, grab my hand. That's how literally drag her. Ah, she's here. Sora, why are you so late? I had to drag Hibiki. Hibiki? She's not saying anything. I, I mean, she's gonna burst into tears once we get there, man. Sis. She's been standing still ever since she saw Setsuka's corpse. I think she had quite the shock. If I didn't bring her here, she might have stood there forever. But imagine so. Setsuka was especially very important to her emotionally. Kanade, she's your family, right? How could you just leave her there and make Sora take all the responsibility? I thought she went ahead without me. I didn't think she'd just stand there all this time. More importantly, Kanade, please do something about this. If this goes on, she won't be able to participate in the trial at all. Sis. It's alright, come on, sis. Here's a good girl. You know I can solve anything for you. I'm always by your side. Nah, there's something wrong with you. Everything is going fine, so just forget everything. Clear your mind. Leave it all to me. Just like that? She's back? Huh? What? What's going on? Where are we? Why are we here? Excuse me? What is up with her? She seems to have lost some of her memory as a side effect? That is some bullshit. That's what I think. Sis, Setsuka is dead. We need to do a class trial. Setsuka is dead? What's that supposed to mean? Just now... What do you mean by Setsuka was... No. It's alright, sis. Don't cry. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. From that confidence, I'm guessing you already know who the culprit is? Kanade? It's her. See that everyone has gathered. Let's get started then. Take the elevator in front of you to enter the trial grounds. I'll be waiting for you down there. So here we go again. Damn it. I'm sick of this already. We can continue our talk at the trial. So the third trial will start soon. This case in particular felt like something was different this time. Maybe that was just me. But we did our best to investigate every detail. All that's left for us is to find out the black and together. Okay. I've been playing for a very long time, guys. So, next time we will be doing the trial. I, guys, it, it's Kanade. Who else could it be? Like, let, let's be honest, dude. Who else is that messed up to kill someone that brutally? Kanade. It has to be her. Like, at this point... I, I don't think I'd be upset if it was her. Like, if she was the one who died, I, I would have no problems with that. But, okay, that, that, that's kind of rude. But, uh, whatever. I'll, okay, so... My suspect list is Hibiki. I know I don't want to suspect her, but it could be her. Hibiki, Iraha, because she was gone for a while... And Kanade. Kanade is my biggest one, just because she's a bit of a psychopath. But we'll see how things play out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see other than Danganronpa on the channel in the future. And I will see you all in the next one. See ya.